Good afternoon. My name is Stefan Mindecker, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to ESC TV uh, this afternoon, together with my co-chair, Jean-Philippe Collet. It's our pleasure to discuss uh, the ESC guideline on syncope that has been presented for the first time in 2018. And we take advantage to discuss this guideline with the two task force chairs, Michele Brignole and Angel uh, Moya. My first question goes to Angel, and that is, uh, can you summarize for us and for the audience the key messages of uh, the guideline on syncope? Okay, <clears throat> let me focus more than in all key messages in some new, new key messages that were in the last guidelines. The first is the new role of till testing for identifying patients with hypotensive susceptibility more than as a pure diagnostic tool. The second is the role of video recording for doing the differential diagnosis of syncope with other TLOC. The third is the expanded indications of prolonged ECG monitoring, mainly IRR, and not only expanded but also earlier in the diagnostic uh, uh, flowchart of the patients. And the last one is the new role of the autonomic test in patients with suspected orthostatic hypotension and suspected dysfunction autonomic. And Michele, can you tell us about the, the feedback uh, from the practitioners one year after? I think that uh, the most important change in clinical practice are organizational. Uh, we, for the first time in an official ESC guideline, describe a, a two organizational uh, pathway. How to manage syncope in the emergency department. This is very important because the emergency department have a problem managing syncope and uh, in syncope unit. I think that these are the most important uh, changes. The guidelines st have stated clearly when to admit and when not to admit and have uh, suggested an alternative, a, ter a third way. The third way is neither to discharge, neither to admit, is to observe the patient in emergency department in an emergency department for six to 24 hours in a syncope observational unit and to fast track the suitable patient to the hospital syncope unit. This is really a novel, completely different way to manage patients with syncope. The aim is to reduce total hospitalization Hospitalization patients in syncope are up to 50% of patients referred to emergency department, and most of these hospitalization are not appropriate, and to reduce cost. And did you have changed since once year? Did you have feedback from practitioners? It, we, we do not have observational uh, studies that can measure, but the feeling, talking with uh, the people, and traveling around uh, Europe presenting this guideline is that uh, people, uh, uh, physicians are very interested to, because they change, uh, they potentially can change practice. So syncope units and observation of patients and very important uh, message from the syncope uh, guidelines. Uh, Angel, looking uh, forward, are there any new considerations that you would like to share with us looking forward uh, in uh, dealing with the subject of syncope? Well, I think that, uh, that the new considerations probably are this is the gap between the guidelines and what is now in the clinical practice is first try to implement the guidelines in clinical practice with meetings, with congresses, and with some tools, for example, we have in Spain this tool that is a booklet with a summary of all the recommendations in Spanish that help the people to, uh, to implement the guidelines. The second, to promote the creation of syncope units, as it has been said by Michele. Try to perform more controlled trials on treatment because there are very few and the, more of the recommendations of treatment is based on non-controlled trials. And take in consideration the new technologies of prolonged monitoring, not only of ECG, but of other uh, biometric parameters, such as arterial blood pressure, trying to implement those uh, uh, techniques in the study of syncope patients. So, um, Michele, I bet these uh, guidelines are very popular. 
Do you have uh, any information on downloading the PDF and uh, HTML? Enormous number of downloading, thousand, hundred thousand of downloading uh, there, there, there has been. Uh, the, yeah, the line are very popular. And if you look at the, the word distribution, uh, uh, Europe uh, uh, is not uh, is only a part of the loading. But most of the loading comes from Asia, from the uh, United States, from America. So it's really uh, a, a world diffusion, yes. Very successful. Well, thank you both, uh, Angel and Michele, for sharing uh, some insights as it relates to the syncope guidelines uh, with us. Uh, for all those interested, the guidelines are obviously available uh, online and there is a variety of ancillary products, notably the pocket light uh, guidelines available in print version, but also as an app. Thank you very much. Thank you to you.